game. Deuce, game point. Receiver's choice. These two always good friends, Jimmy? I, th I mean, they were rivals, obviously, in the 80s. But I think they got along. There you go. And Linda leads 2-1 with a big serve. I think Yvonne found it extreme. You have to feel comfortable. If you don't, uh, you're never going to perform well. And we're back. Belander to serve here. Linda leads 2-1. We were talking about Lendl being the first guy with fitness. He was the, also the first guy with his rackets to make sure every racket was strung the same, weighed the same, balanced the same, the same grip mold. Every other player just got the rackets from a company. Check the rally count. Very nice sneak into the net from Lendl that time, but Delander sensed it and was able to put that passing shot just in an uncomfortable spot for Lendl. So to finish your thought, uh, so he was into technology even uh, back then, he wanted to have the edge everywhere. He was the first, and it drove me crazy because once I did the same thing as all players followed Lendl's lead there, 40, 50, 50. I could no, no longer play. If a racket felt just the slightest bit different, I was struggling, whereas before they all felt different, and I just got used to it in a couple of points. Lander evens it up. Two all. Two all now. Up next, the match continues and people see. Hey, wait a second. This guy is really. There's a whole different side of Yvonne Lendl. Show them that there is no excuses, and if something doesn't work, you try it again. All right, Lendl to serve here at two all. I think we're seeing a different side of Yvonne Lendl here through these vignettes, often seen as uh, very precise, uh, very dedicated to his craft, and I think we're seeing somewhat of a, a softer, more personable side here. Like he has a sense of humor, a very dry sense of humor. I know a lot of players, I was invited to practice at his house like Sampras was, and I declined. I declined because I was afraid. I'd heard stories about how he would put a tennis ball in your pocket and he had German <laughs> shepherds that were well trained and he would send the German shepherd after the ball that was now in your pocket. And know. that was something that I didn't want to experience. So I was, I knew it would have been great for my tennis, but I was afraid. A practical joker to be sure. Another side not many of us have seen. As we show you a little retrospective from that 85 final we referenced earlier, and watch how similar the games are. Rally count at 27, what a point. So tough to find an opening against Belander back in 85 and even still today. Lendl's been able to dig himself out of his first two service games. We'll see if he can do it here with a big serve. And the first break of the match, Lander 3-2.
It's difficult for us to remember that in the, in the late 70s and early. Belander to serve now, up 3-2. Timmy, we mentioned some of the classic matches, five Grand Slam finals here. Uh, Vlander got the best of them in those finals, won three. I always felt like Vlander was able to get Yvonne to play his style of game a little bit. I think Lendl had more weapons. Rally count of 20, 21. And one of the things we talk about how fit Lendl was. Delander was another guy that never got tired. He could play for eight hours if he needed to. And that's why these two, when they played each other, it was, in general, such a long, drawn-out, tough match. I think Lendl hitting much more confidently than he was early on in the match. You can see he's getting comfortable. At that point, he was ripping a couple of backhands instead of just coming under and slicing it. And that's what he really improved in his game as his career went on was his backhand. 30-15. Started out as that, mostly just sliced. And as time went on, he lost a McEnroe a couple of times. He realized he had to hit over his backhand to hit an effective passing shot, and he really mastered that shot. 40-30. One of the things that's so tough when you haven't played is returning serve. We've seen some struggle for Lendl on that front. Vlander now backing up the Game break longer. leads 4 2. It is 4 2. As you know, Jerry and I work with together at. So uh, if he needs me, he can find me. Other than that, uh, I just watch and try to learn, but uh, he does the work. Now Lendl to serve down 4 2. We'll see if his uh, old competitive spirit can get him back in this match. Backhand he'd been working on throughout his career. Hit that one beautifully down the line. I do know Lendl, in one of his events that he promoted, one of his first events, he hired John McEnroe to do the commentating, and he told them <laughs> at that match, I always knew from the first time we met that someday you would work for me. <laughs> it's always good to get a dig in on Mac. Oh. 15 all. 144 singles titles in his career for Lendl. Lendl. Only three players in the open era had more Grand Slam titles, singles titles, than Lendl's eight. 